All right, I wish I had to squeeze this in the uh, the other video. Oh well, last problem of this lesson. So we've got an algebra problem. So again, this pre-calc curriculum is kind of wild. It's just all over the place. But back in the old days of algebra two, I told all my students, factor, 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 factor. This is factor, 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 factor. Now, just so you know, if I have this, 2x squared, for example, times 18 over 1 times x squared, like 9x squared, I'll just put a 3 here. See, this is all connected by multiplication. This is connected by multiplication. I could cross those out. I could go, hey, 9 goes into 9 once, 9 goes into 18 twice. Then I just multiply and I get 12. Now, notice this is connected by subtraction, subtraction, addition. So uh, we cannot just start canceling x squared and canceling 2 into 16 because you have to factor it first. So what that means is we're going to take a 2 out of this. We'll be left with x squared minus 9. Now wait a minute, notice, fact, keep factoring. So this is a difference of two squares, so that's x minus three, x plus three in the top. So I'm not worried about that, I'm not worried about that. What's this? Difference of two squares, x minus four, x plus four. Now I'm not worried about that. Here, I just got an x plus three. I'm just gonna put it in parentheses just so I know to look for another x, minus, x plus three somewhere. I have a trinomial here that's got a 1 there. That makes my life nice. So x, x, two factors of negative 8 that add up to negative 2, negative 4, and plus 2. So I'm not worried about that. So there's the factoring process. Why do we even do that? Because now everything's connected by multiplication, just like this one was. So now we can start canceling. So here's an x minus 4. Here's an x minus 4. Here's an x plus 3 x plus 3, and that's it. So what do I have in the top? 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 2 all over, and the only thing in the denominator is x plus 4, and that's it. Okay, now throw this in for free. What's the domain of my answer? Well, x cannot equal negative 4. Are they going to ask you that? Probably not, but you need to be on your guard just in case they do. Why? you'd have a zero in the denominator. There you go. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Have a good day.